and this great land in 1818. I knew my first job in New York was a tutor in Latin, and I later served as assistant in a Pittsburgh academy. During these early years, my life was marked by deep devotion. Fortunate, I was to have an excellent Bible mentor. My personal study of the Bible grew. Many churches were visited in a cross-section of denominations now. My beliefs were brought to a position at the death of my beloved mentor. Suddenly, I was to assume the oversight of a sizable congregation. Conditions for churches in my area fared most poorly. Oh, an atmosphere of little or no evangelism prevailed. Only 34 editions, 34 mind you. And these were most in only two of those 14. No, I, Walter Scott, was chosen as evangelist of the new association. <laughs> I was called a natural for the job. <laughs> America was an expanding frontier. About 1826, I began to move westward, where I met other restoration leaders. In Steubenville, Ohio, I opened an academy. Now, this marked an era in the America of circuit riders, camp meetings, and brochure boroughs. Why, that <coughs> colorful figure of raccoon John Smith was a contemporary evangelist.